glad you're able to join us right here on the No Zone. Now this is a place where we have lots of fun while we learn. I'm Charlie. And I am Janet. And I am Marara. Ra! <laughs> now a big roar from Marara means we are going to have a lot of fun today. That's right. And I always give a big roar because we always have so much fun. And today it's not any different. So shall we get started? I totally agree. The best way to get started is for us to go into the chill out zone and meet up with our friends. Come on. Hello everyone. Right now, before we start, let's say a big hello to everybody watching us at home. Hello! Hey, 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 what about me? What about me? Hello, Marara! I am fine, thank you, friends. And I'm also glad to meet you and glad that you came to visit us. Now, who can tell us what the topic of today is about? It's about the environment. That's very right. Now, let's get straight into it. What are the buzzwords? Sun, flowers, leaves, twigs. Now, I hope you'll be able to look out for these words today. But right now, why don't we take a little trip and find out what our friends are going to be teaching us about the environment. Let's go to the playhouse. So much for making a place beautiful. At least we tried, but we can't give up. We need to find a way to make this place look good again. Yes, if we don't, the place will be ugly. Uh, but what else can we do? I don't know, but if we don't, no one will come play here again. Guys, we need to fix this place up. Painting it again is a waste of time. Oh boy, what can we do to keep our environment beautiful? Maybe we should call Mr. Zippo. Yes, perhaps he can give us an idea. Why do you all look so sad? We are trying to think of ways that can make our area clean. And by your area, you mean the environment? Yes. Well, there are so many natural ways of doing that. Like? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not going to make it easy for you. So I want you to try and figure it out all by yourself. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go back inside and bake you some nice cookies made from natural ingredients grown in Kenya. I know by the time you're all done, you will be all very hungry. Masai Mara, chips karanga. Masai Mara. I can't think of any ways we can do this. I think the best way to do this is to look around us. What does this place need? I know what this place needs. So, are you going to tell us? Oh dear, we have so much to do. Come, come. That sounds like a good plan. As long as I'm not touching the manure. That is good. Don't be such a girl. Who said girls are afraid of dirt? Okay, let's get moving. Before Mr. Zippo finishes up the cookies. So we stay behind with me. We can get the soil ready. I'll stay. Me too. We we'll need some sand as well. Cool. The rest of us, let's go get the manure. Not to use manure. Yes, it 
helps the soil become better for the flowers. It helps them grow. Speedy, how are you today? <laughs> I am very well. How are you all? We are fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we borrow someone here? We want to go and plant some flowers to make our playhouse beautiful. <laughs> that is very good of you. And while you're at it, make sure that you plant some trees. Growing trees really helps the environment. I like that idea. Me too. And then we'll be recognized as the next one, Gary Mother. Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. Planting trees is not only about being recognized. You have to plant trees because you care about the environment. All of us have to look after our planet and its resources. Okay guys, time to collect my ear. Let's go. Maspidi, will you please come and show us how to plant? Of course, yes. Let's go. <laughs> so, what did you say is the benefit of pruning leaves? My mom says it helps them grow bigger and better. Daphne, now, instead of asking questions, come and help me pick up the twigs. Why do we have to pick up the twigs anyway? It helps to make the place clean. Besides, if we get a thorn one, it can freak you. Those are some colorful flowers you've picked. <laughs> and that is some stinking manure too. We bought some trees too. Maspedi says it's good to plant trees. Yes, it is. You have six trees, but we are seven. Don't count me in. I'm just here to help. <laughs> so that means we have six trees and we are six. So each of us will have to plant one tree. And that means we'll plant a total of six trees. Let's get to action. Yay! Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Wow. Pleasure is all mine. Now that uh, you've uh, planted the seedlings, the tree seedlings and the flowers, you have to remember to water them every day. Why don't you stay for some cookies? Yes, oh. Mr. Zippo is making for us some. Mr. Zippo? Yes. He's our friend who is over a hundred years. <laughs> I won't eat the cookies today. I have to get back to work. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you, Mas Pidi. Thank you. Goodbye, good people. Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs> wow. Good job, all of you. You have really impressed me. Yes, but it was quite hard work. And it was worth it. Now, if you tell all your schoolmates about the importance of taking care of the environment, then I am sure that our environment will be very well taken care of. We will do that. Thanks, Mrs. Zippo. Oh, well, I didn't do much. Can we eat those cookies now, please? They smell so nice. Uh, of course, of course. Hey, aren't you going to wash your hands after all that manure we've touched? Improving our environment was fun. Even if we did get a bit dirty, let's wash our hands, then eat the cookies. Yay! From Playhouse, this is Quizzy Quiz. How can children make the environment look better? Children can make the environment look better by growing trees and flowers too. How is manure useful to us? Manure helps the soil become richer and flowers to grow higher. Did you enjoy that? Yeah! Excellent! Now, for you at home, we hope that you enjoyed it as well. Now, what about Quizzy's quiz? How many answers did you get? Uh, did you get it all correct? Oh, well, Charlie, I, I missed one, but I'm going to work very hard and get all of them correct next time. That's a sweet, Mayara. <laughs> oh, 
we know that sound means it's time for us to have fun with words as we join Teacher Pendo in... Cool Words! Hello everyone. Hello Teacher Pendo. Welcome to Cool Words. Are we all ready to have fun with words? Yes. Yes, I am Teacher Pendo, I am. Excellent. Now to begin, I want you to listen very carefully to two sentences that I'm going to say. This pen is black. That pen is black. Did you all get that? Yes. Teacher Pendo. Yes. Can you say that again? Of course. This pen is black. That pen is black. Now, who can tell me the difference in the two sentences? Yes, Austin? This and that. Very good. Now, because the pen I was holding was close to me, I used the word this to show I was talking about it. Okay. Now, because the pen on the desk is farther away from me, I used the word that. Yes, Marara? Um, why is it important, Teacher Pendo? That's a very good question. By using this or that when talking to someone, we make it clear to them what object we are talking about. On the table, we have five objects. We have a flower, a twig, a leaf, uh, a ball and some soil. Now I'd like us to take it in turns to select an object to describe. Now you can either pick up the object or leave it on the table, but you need to use either this or that correctly. For example, that ball is yellow. This soil is brown. Now, who would like to go next? This twig is brown. Very good. Someone else? Yes, Rina? That leaf is green. Excellent. Someone else? Yes, Paul? This flower is red. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Someone else? Oh, 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 Shependo. Yes, Marara. That soil is brown. Excellent. And someone else? Yes, Austin? This ball is yellow. Very good. Well done, all of you. Well, I hope you all now understand how to use this and that correctly. Oh, I do. I do, Teacher Pendo. I do. Great. Okay, now later on in Cool Words, we'll be looking at how we can help the environment. But now, it's time for us to see what Mospeedy is up to. That's right. It's time for Out There. Hey, have you ever woke up to birds chirping? Their sound is very pleasant to wake up to. Birds range in sizes and colors. There are thousands of different types of birds in the world. Today we are going to have fun as we learn more about these amazing animals. Come on, good people. Come on with me. My friend Y tells me that this room in the Nairobi National Museums holds a detailed display of not only the Kenyan birds, but also the birds from East Africa. Many birds are different, and that makes them perfect for everyone to enjoy watching them. Birds are part of our environment, and just like flowers, they come in all sorts of colors. Look at this one! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I love it! Some birds can be shy, others very clever, others very outgoing and active. What really makes birds different from other animals? Is it their pretty colors? No! Is it their bill or beak? No! Is it their eggs? No! Is it their wings? No! Then what is it? Feathers! 
All birds have feathers, and they are the only animals that do. Feathers do many jobs for the birds. They keep them warm. Wing feathers allow them to fly. Their wings are similar to an aeroplane's wings, which help them to move easily through the air. All birds have wings. But did you know that not all birds can fly? For example, the ostrich. An ostrich cannot fly, but it is a very fast runner. It can even outrun a horse. Also, did you know that ostriches lay giant eggs? One ostrich egg can weigh as much as 24 chicken eggs. Can you believe that? Hey, look, there are so many. How do you get to tell one bird from the other? There are different types of birds, and they come in all sizes. Birds are also known for their massive migrating patterns. Some birds will travel long distances in search of food, water, and breeding sites. Some birds feed on plants, and others eat fish, snakes, and even other birds. Birds, just like us, are grouped into families. Waterfowls. These are birds that live on or near water. They include swans, geese, and ducks. All waterfowls have webbed toes, enabling them to move swiftly through the watery environment. They also have long necks and narrow pointed wings. Another group is the birds of prey, like hawks, eagles, and owls. Since birds have no teeth, they use their beaks. The shapes of their beaks vary depending on the type of food they eat. Birds use their beak to gather food, feed their young, and drink water. Another group are the scavengers. For example, the vultures and the marabou stalk. These are birds that feed on dead or injured animals, and by doing so, they clean the environment. Domesticated birds. These are birds kept at home. For example, chicken, guinea fowls, and turkeys. Other domestic birds are the pet birds, like parrots, quails, and doves. The nectar feeders. These are birds that feed on nectar from flowers. The weaver birds, my favorite. This bird got its name from its very creative way of doing its nest. The different types of nests that birds build and use are determined by the types of birds and the surrounding environment. Nests vary in size, shape, and material. Some birds lay eggs inside mounds that they have built from materials such as leaves, twigs, soil, and grass. Most birds do this by using their feet and beaks. Now, children, what can you do to help protect the different bird species and where they live? Mr. Mwai tells me that there are so many reasons why we should love birds. It can be easy. Let's protect the environment. Until next time, goodbye, good people. See you. Masvidi always has so much fun wherever he goes. Yep, he definitely does. But the no zone's all about fun. Speaking of fun, it's time for our first game. Well, is it is it my favorite one? Oh, my list is ready. My bike is ready. My shopping basket is ready. Wait, wait, my, my, my yes, my, my, uh, uh, yes, my, yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> it's time to have fun with the numbers. It's Marara's shopping list. Welcome to our number fun, it's game time on Marara's shopping list. That's right. Now, I've been given a shopping list by my mom, but I'm not sure I have the right amount of things. Come on, Marara, you know we're going to help you. Well, of course we are, Marara. Now, the rules are very simple. There are four items on Marara's list. Now, you have to help him get all of the items on the list correct by getting more items from the market. All right, now, after your turn, tag your next team member like this. 
so that they can go and help you get the next item from the market. But remember, you have to do this before the market closes. That's right. Now, when you help me get my shopping list right, you do not go home empty-handed because you get these fabulous textbooks back to your school. Are you ready? Yes! Excellent. Oh! The shop is about to close. Come on, let's Tilly go. Tilly the four, off you go. Your first item is nine bananas. How many do I have? One. One. How many more do I need? Eight. Go, Eight. go, 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 get them. There you go, there you go. Faster, faster. Faster, get faster. Get some more, there you go. Yay, come on, come on, come on. All right, run, tag the next Come back, come back, tag the next one. Come back, come back, tag the next one. Stacey, off you go. All right, the next item is 12 passion fruit. How many more do I need to make 12? Five. Five, All right, come get them, come, come, come. Come on, come on, come there on. There you go, there you go. All right, run, run, put them. That's there it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Tag the, the next person. Member. Go, 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 go. All right, the next item is seven mangoes. Seven, seven mangoes. Seven mangoes. How many do I have? Wait for my, it's okay, just go. How, how many do I have? Three. Three. How many more do I need? Four. Four. Go to right, the market. Go, come on, come on, get the four, get the four, get the four. There you go, well done. Tag the last member. Go, 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 Five oranges, five oranges. How many do I have? Two. How many more do I need to make five? Three. Three. Go to the market. Go, 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 go. There you go. The shop has closed. Well done. Let's find out how everyone did. All right. Well done, team. Now. Let's see how well you did. The first one, the first item on the list is nine bananas. That's how many Marara was supposed to get. Marara only got one banana. How many did you need to add for him to get nine? How Just many? Eight. 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 Marara, how many bananas did they bring you? Um, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight! Oh, well no! done, team! Well done. That is correct. You had to bring eight to make nine. Now, the second item is 12 passion fruit. Now, Marara only managed to get seven passion fruit, which means you needed to add how many to make 12? Five. Oh, Marara, how many did they bring you? Ah, uh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Well oh. done, team. That is okay. correct. Five is the correct answer. Very good. You've gotten two of the items correct. Let's move on to the third one. Now, the third item on the list is seven mangoes. Seven mangoes. Marara only managed to get three. So how many mangoes do you need to add to make seven? Four. Okay. Oh, they sound okay. pretty sure, Marara. All how right. many did they bring you? Now, let's count. One, two, three, Four. Oh, well done, team. Congratulations. That is correct. Add four. It gives you seven mangoes. Well done. You're doing very good so far. There's only one left. The last one, five oranges. All right? Five oranges. Now, Marara only managed to get two oranges. So how many did you need to add to make it to five? Three. Oh, okay. Marara. How many oranges did they bring you? Let's see. Um, one, two, three. Well done, team. That is correct. That last one is very correct. If you add three, you get five. Congratulations. You have gotten all the four items. Let's give them a round of applause. Team leader, Paul, please step forward. Here are some fabulous textbooks for you to take back to your school. Let's show everyone at home. Here are some fabulous textbooks. And I have a special prize for each one of you just for taking part. Number team, right. come on and take your prizes. <laughs> okay, now it's time for us to explore where we live. So let's go and see what Dunia has to show us today. Hello everyone, my name is Dunia and welcome to our world. 
Today we are focusing on recycling paper. The first thing to learn is that rubbish that you see on the street or at home is all valuable. If it is collected and delivered to a recycling place, not only can it be made into new things again, but it can make you money. So here I am to show you what happens when your papers reach this factory. This can come by truck or even by cart. First, the paper is weighed and then the person is paid per kilogram of paper. This rubbish is then put into this big mountain of paper and is sorted into two separate piles paper waste and cardboard waste. The paper waste is taken across the room and is compacted into measurable squares that are then sold for money to companies who make this paper into different things. Vehicles loaded with paper are also weighed and then given a price to pay. The cardboard is taken to a separate room and the same is done. Some of this cardboard they use comes from old office files. These men are taking out the metal in the files so it is just card left to put in the machine. The men throw the cardboard onto the conveyor belt. It then takes it up, up, up and then drops it into a container below. Then the card in the container is squashed by a machine to make it all tight and compact. When it is big enough, the square of cardboard is then released from the machine. Here it comes. Look at that. It's so neat and tidy. These blocks can now be sold to different recycling factories and made into all kinds of things. However, some of the cardboard is taken to be recycled right here. Take a look. All the scrap card is put into a big container and mixed with a special solution till it becomes a liquid. This cut liquid is taken through pipes to a machine that molds it together. This new mold is then pressed through rollers that make it flat. This flat card is then cut into squares and taken off the machine and then taken to dry. That is a lot of new card. When the card is dry, it is then weighed to see what object it will be used for. They are then cut into clean, perfect shapes using this cutting machine. These piles of new card are weighed again, so a price can be put on them, and now they are ready for sale. This factory has been running for about 25 years, producing hundreds of tons of new card every day from rubbish that otherwise collect on our streets and pollute the environment. You can also help by disposing waste paper properly. I hope you are inspired to put all your paper and card into a recycling bin so it can come here and be given a new life. See you next week for a new adventure. Bye! Now, learning about the environment is really, really great. Uh, I think we can do more. Actually, John, what can we do to help the environment? Pick up rubbish. That's right. What about you, Paul? Planting a tree. That oh, is oh, oh. excellent. I know, I know, I know. Uh -huh. I have a tree that we can go and plant together. Oh, wow, can I help? What? We can all help. Oh, that's great. Let's go to it now. Let's go. Come wait, on. Wait, uh, wait, uh, Marara, Marara. Wait. Okay. So Marara has gone off before us, but uh, I think he'll be back. Now make sure that you come back and join us a little bit later because we still have a lot of fun a lot of learning and one more game to go right here on the No Zone.
welcome back to the No Zone. Now, Marara, it's actually a really good thing that you came back because you would have missed all the fun. No, no way. I would not have done that. That would be no fun at all. <laughs> All right, now today we're talking about environments. That's right. Now, do you remember the buzzwords? Let's remind everyone at home. Sand, flowers, leaves, twigs. Great. Now remember to look out for these buzzwords at home. <laughs> Wait, I think we all know what that sound means. It's time for us to go and join up with Teacher Pendle for more number fun in... Hot Numbers! Welcome to Hot Numbers. Now in our last lessons, we have been focusing on numbers and their place values. Yes, Teacher Pendle, we have looked at units, Tens, and we have also looked at hundreds. Thank you, Marara, for reminding us. Now, today I'd like us to begin by doing some more counting. One, two, three, four, uh, Marara, five, Marara, hold six, on, hold on. Seven. Now, counting is really important because it helps us learn our numbers. But as well as counting forwards, a good way to make sure we know our numbers is to count backwards. Backwards? Yes, Marara, it's not too difficult. So all of us, I would like us to count starting from 20 to 11. And remember to join in at home. Now, Marara, will you start us off? Yeah, yeah. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Well done, everyone. Oh, Teacher Pendle, yes. that was so easy. Okay, now let's make it a bit trickier. Now let's try counting backwards in ones, but using three digit numbers. What, Teacher Pendle? Yes, Marara. Now that is so difficult. Not to worry, I think you'll be able to manage it. Okay, and remember it's okay to make mistakes, it's just important that we try. Oh, okay, thank you, Teacher Pendle. You're welcome. Now let's count from 290 down to 280. And remember to join in at home. So let's start. 290, 289. 288, 287, 285, 284, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, 285, I have a place value chart. Now, who can tell me what number this is? Yes, Linus? 111. 111. <laughs> well done. Now, we can see that 100 is bigger than 110 and is bigger than the 1. Now, do you all understand? Yes! Great. Now I've got some more examples on the board. Now I'd like you to take it in turns to tell me what numbers they represent. So first up. Yes, John? 265. 265. Well done. And the next one? Yes, Patricia? 887. Eight, Sorry? 87. 87. Well done. Okay, and the next one? Yes, Ray? 490. 490. Just look at the tens and the ones. 409. 409. Well done. And the last one? Oh, did you find it? Did you find it? Yes, Marara. Um, that is. 310. Aha, well done. 310. Well done, all of you. <coughs> now, who can tell me what an abacus is? Yes, Linus. An abacus is for counting. 
That's right. Now on the board, I have some pictures of some abacuses showing hundreds, tens and ones. Now I'd like you to tell me how many hundreds, tens and ones there are in each picture and what number it represents. Now who wants to go first? Yes, Linus? 523. 523. You're right. Now, what about the next one? Yes, Patricia? 184. 184. Excellent. And the last one? Yes, John? 967. 967. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Oh, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara? I really feel like I understand place value charts now. Aha, uh -huh, that's good to know, Marara. And remember, practice makes perfect. Well, we've reached the end of today's Hot Numbers lesson. Be sure to join us next time for more fun with the numbers. Right now, though, let's get creative. That's right. It's time for Creative Zone. Hello, welcome to Creative Zone. Today we'll be creating some art. We start today by looking at lines. Some pictures are made of different types of lines. We have straight lines. Some have curved lines. And others have a mixture of both lines. You can also use a leaf to do a print. And today we'll try and do a print from this leaf. Apply the paint. It shouldn't be too running, too, too watery because it will spoil the print. You can use also a leaf or any other object when you print to create a picture. And today we shall try to create a fish from my leaf. I have different sizes of leaves for different parts of the fish and let's see what, how we can make it. So I do the same process again. Press the leaf again. Press hard. The other side. This one has come out much stronger because of the first layer and second layer of paint. And from here I can continue. Take a smaller leaf and I'm going to create the fins. And that's my fish from leaves. And all the structure inside just came from the print of the leaves. But you can also use other materials to create different images. And I'm going to attempt to do another one. And this time I'm going to use some twigs, some sand, and let's see what we come up with. So I take some glue, this is just simple office glue, and put it on the paper where I want my soil and my twigs to be situated. But I'm actually doing a drawing of where I want the sun to land. And then I remove the excess. I apply some more glue for the roof. And here I apply quite a thick chunk of glue so it can hold because the twigs are much heavier. And take my twigs and start arranging them in an 
order. That's my house. The roof is a bit rickety, but it's standing. <laughs> I hope you can also try and do and make your own house using collage. I hope you had fun and see you next time. Creative zone is really cool. I mean, I always want to paint and draw and sing and dance. And oh, oh, oh I, I know, I know, Janet. I know, I know, I know. Let's sing a song together. Okay. Aye, yo, we do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. Marara, Marara, Marara. Listen. No. Huh? no. Okay, not right now. Because right now it's time for us to play our word game. That's true. It's time for. Animal, animal, tractor, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to Spell It! This is the game where we play with our words and our letters. Now, Linus, Patricia, Ray, and John, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's No Zone Spelling Champion. That's right. Now, the winner of today's competition will win their school a No Zone Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. All right, now, each contender has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! Are the rules clear? Yes! Now today's words will be coming from our topic of... Mara. The environment! Oh, yes. Now, our team is ready. We'll start with you, Linus. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Linus, your 25 seconds start now. Wet. W-E-T. Moon. M -O, o N Soil S O I N River R I V E R Roots R -O, o T S Branch B R A N C H Park P A P A R K House Oh yeah, Lena and time is up. Thank you very much. Patricia, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Your 25 seconds starts now. Sun. S-U-N. Stars. S-T-A-R-S. Sand. S-A-N-D. Lakes. L-A-K-E-S. Food. F-O-O-D. Lights. L-I-G-G-H-T. Fla flowers. F F L O W E R S. And Patricia, time is up. Very well done. Okay. Step on back. Ray, you're up next. Come on down and step into the spotlight. <laughs> Your 25 seconds starts now. Air. A I R. Sky. S K Y. Wind. W I N D. Dams. D A M S. Worms. W A M S. Water. W A T E R. Bad. B I R D. Energy. E R N A G E. Weather. W E A T H E R. Twigs. And Ray, time is up. Well done, Very well Ray. done. <laughs> well done, Ray. Now, John. You're the last one up. Come on down and step into the spotlight. John, your 25 seconds starts now. Gas. G-A-S. Heat. Repeat. Heat. 
H E I T C S W E STEM S T M E Fish F I S Rocks H Repeat Rocks And John time is John, up well very done. well done Well done all of you Charlie can you please reveal the scores? I'll do just that, Marara. Now, here are the scores. We'll start with Linus. Linus spelled seven words correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Patricia, you almost ran out of time, but you spelled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words correctly. Well done. <laughs> Ray, you spelled the word warms, W-A-R-M-S, correctly. However, the word that you had been asked for was worms, W-O-R-M-S. Still, you spelled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words correctly. Well done. John, you had some pretty difficult words, but you did very well. Although the word we're looking for was C-S-E-A, you spelled C-S-double-E -E correctly. You spelled three words correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Janet. All right, which means that uh, today's Northern Spelling Champions are Linus, Patricia and Ray. Congratulations. And they get this wonderful dictionary for each and every one of them. That's right. Congratulations to all of you winners. And as you know, on the No Zone, everyone is a winner. So come on up and get your prizes for spelling so many words correctly. Come on up. Come, come. Come on. But right now, it's time for us to go and join the coolest teacher in the zone. That's right. Uh, let's go and join Teacher Pendo in Cool Words. Welcome back to Cool Words. We all need to make sure that we look after our planet for everybody in the future. Now on the board, I've got some ways we can help protect the environment. Let's read them together. Recycling materials, not wasting water, saving electricity, planting trees, helping wildlife. Uh, um, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. I am good at reading. I'm sure you are, Marara. Now, did we all notice how Marara said he was good at reading? He used the word good at when he was talking about doing something. Now, in this case, reading. Now, what I'd like us to do is now to make some sentences using good at and the words on the board. Now, who'd like to go first? Yes, Austin? I am good at recycling materials. Good answer. Recycling is a great way to help the environment. Who'd like to go next? Yes, Stacey? I am good at not wasting water. Excellent. Saving water is very important. Next one. Yes, Rina. I am good at saving electricity. Uh -huh, very good. Someone else? Yes, Paul. I am good at planting trees. Very good. Trees are really important for the environment, so we should plant more trees and look after the ones we already have. Now, how about you, Marara? Yeah, uh, I'm good at helping wildlife. I'm a lion, you know. Very good, Marara. I am so pleased that you're all doing so well at helping the environment. Well, we've reached the end of today's lesson, but why don't you think of other ways you can be good at protecting the environment? Oh, oh Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. I'm going to start an environment club in my school. Ah, that's a very good idea, Marara. Now, though, it's time for us to enjoy another story. In Story Zone. <laughs> The beautiful gourd. 
This is a story about two girls. Their names were Rosa and Akinyi. Rosa and Akinyi were friends. They lived near Lake Victoria. One day, Rosa's mother said, Rosa, I want some family. Go to the forest and get some. Rosa said, yes, mother, I will go now. Then she ran out of the house. Rosa ran to Akinyi's house. She said to Akinyi, Akinyi, I'm going to the forest to get some firewood. What are you going to do today? Akinyi said, I am going to get some firewood too. We can go together. We will get the firewood. Then we will look for fruits. We will look for seeds too. I want to make some beads. I will take my bath. Rosa said, that's a good plan. Mother likes fruits. I want to make some beads. Let's go. So the two girls walked to the forest. It was cool in the forest. Birds were singing and twittering. Insects were humming and buzzing. There were many trees and flowers. The girls found some fruits and put them in the basket. They found some beautiful seeds. There were red ones and black ones, and some of a creamy color. Rosa said, look at all the seeds. They will make beautiful beads. The girls found a lot of firewood too. Rosa made a big bundle. So did Akinyi. They worked hard. Soon, the girls felt tired and hot. Rosa said, look, there's a lake. I want to rest. Let's go and rest near the lake. Akinyi said, I am very tired and hot. I want to rest too. So Rosa and Akinyi walked to the lake. They sat down to rest. It was cool near the lake. A little wind was blowing. The water danced. Rosa was looking at the water. She said to Akinyi, Look, I can see something on the water. Can you see it? What is it? Akinyi said, It looks like a gourd. I can't see it very well. Let's go near the water. Then we will see what it is. So the girls went to the edge of the water. They could see the gourd. Akinyi said, it is a gourd. It is very beautiful. I will take it home. My mother will like it. She lifted the gourd out of the water. Then Rosa said, it is mine. I saw it first. I want to take it to my mother. The girls began to quarrel. They made a lot of noise. An old woman came to see what was happening. She said, you bad noisy girls. What are you doing? What is the matter? You are big girls. You must not quarrel like children. Why are you quarreling? What is the matter? Rosa said, can you see this gourd? It is mine. I found it. It was floating on the water. I saw it first, but Akinyi says it's hers. Akinyi said, I lifted it out of the water. It is mine. The old woman was clever. She said, I will tell you what to do. Give the gourd to me. So Akinyi gave the gourd to the old woman. The old woman threw it back into the water. Now the gourd is floating again. Come with me. We must stand in the water. So the two girls and the old woman stood in the water. The old woman said, Now you must sing. The gourd is floating on the water. It will come to the girl who sings best. It will touch her. Rosa, you sing fast. So Rosa sang, Beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, floating on the water. Beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Beautiful gourd, come to me. While Rosa was singing, but the gourd floated near. The old woman said, look at the gourd. It is floating near Rosa. Now, Akinyi, you must sing. So Akinyi sang, beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, floating on the water. Beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, you are mine. You are mine, you are mine. Beautiful gourd, you are mine. While Akinyi was singing, the gourd did not move. It stayed. Near Rosa, the old woman said, Look at the gourd. It is in the same place. It is still near Rosa. Rosa, sing again. So Rosa sang again. Beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, floating on the water. Beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, beautiful gourd, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Beautiful gourd, come to me. While Rosa sang, the gourd came nearer to her. It came nearer and nearer. It touched her. Then the old woman lifted the gourd out of the water. She gave it to Rosa. 
She said, here's the good, Rosa. Take it to your mother. Go home quietly with your friend. Do not quarrel anymore. Be good friends. The two girls said, Thank you for helping us. We will not quarrel again. We will be good friends. What can we give you? Do you want firewood? Can we give you some beans? The woman said, Give me some firewood. I am an old woman. I have no girls to get firewood for me. So Akimi and Rosa gave the woman some firewood. Then they said, Goodbye. The old woman walked away to her home. The two girls picked up the bundles of firewood. They went home. From Story Zone, this is Quizzy Quiz. What did the girls quarrel about? The girls quarreled about a gourd in the water. Who helped them solve their disagreement? The disagreement was solved by an old woman. That was such a beautiful story. Did you all enjoy it? Yes! Excellent. And I really like Quizzy. And for you at home, did you answer all of Quizzy's questions correctly? Well, we answered all of the questions correctly, didn't we? Yes! Excellent. Now, thank you very much for coming to help us with today's show. You were all great. Did you enjoy it? Yes! Excellent. And we loved having you. And for you at home, thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to join us again next week for even more fun and games and learning. And you know where? Right here on the No Zone. Come on everyone, let's say goodbye. Bye!